As a creator, it is very important for me to create as much stuff as I can whenever I get the idea. Creating at home was fine, but whenever it came to creating outside of my workspace, I had a huge issue. Whenever I needed to create on the go, I couldn't because I didn't have a machine that was capable of performing how I needed it to perform. With all this trouble, it was becoming more difficult and more frustrating for me to get my ideas out there, so I was just being more unproductive overall. And worst of all, the only solution that I was able to see was to go the super expensive route where I would have to purchase a computer that would completely break the bank causing me to spend money that I simply did not have. It was either doing that or stop creating overall, postponing my creative growth and ideas. But then came in one device that absolutely solved all of my issues. It was the Creative Devices Notebook Pro G16. This computer is equipped with a 12th generation Intel i7, 64 gigabytes of RAM, 2 terabytes of internal SSD storage, and 2 graphics cards, the wow. Intel i Iris XE and the NVIDIA RTX 3060. You can also purchase the laptop bare bones with no RAM or storage for an even cheaper price. And if you have supported RAM or storage, you could always add it in yourself or buy the lowest configuration of this laptop and have the ability to upgrade it yourself down the line whenever you get more money for better parts, making these laptops super affordable to get into. But if you want the laptop already built ready to go, you could always do what I did and get the fully maxed out version and still add additional upgrades of storage if needed down the line. So when I first came across this laptop, I thought it was great, but I was a little bit curious as to see how great it could actually perform because with the ideas that I had in my head as a creative, I wanted to make sure that it was absolutely capable of handling the tasks that I needed it to do. With their highest model being an Intel i7 or an Intel i9 by request, it had me wondering if the Intel i7 or the Intel i9 was even powerful enough for the tasks that I needed it to do, knowing that there are higher end CPUs out there on the market. And I thought the same thing for the graphics card because with this graphics card, the RTX 3060, it is a little bit older and I was under the impression that there were newer graphics cards that could perform better. So naturally, I reached out to the CEO of Creative Devices and I expressed my curiosity wondering to see if this computer could handle whatever I needed to throw at it. So after I voiced my questions and concerns, I was pleased to hear the response that I got back. When discussing the laptop specs for this computer, the CEO of Creative Devices linked me to a few articles and blogs that helped me understand a little bit what was going on and and help me make a decision quicker as to understanding why this laptop was great for the amount of money that you're paying. Now I want to preface this by saying that I'm absolutely no computer expert, so I may be wrong, correct me in the comments down below. But what I got was with all the newer generation CPUs and graphics cards, for the amount that you pay, you're only getting a slight 10% increase in performance, if that. It may be easy to think just because there's newer, flashier CPUs or GPUs on the market that they're automatically better. But those are just marketing tactics that end up making the customer spend more money just for a slight little 10% increase. So again, for the price that you're paying for the newer specs, you're not getting all that much great of a performance. Then I really started to understand what this company is doing and I was mind blown. They tailor made these laptops to be as affordable as possible while still getting a damn near performance as some of the higher units that are marketed out there for a fraction of the price. From then I was hooked and I was actually excited to try out what these laptops could actually do. And let me tell you, I was absolutely not disappointed. When I first got this laptop, I updated all the drivers, making sure that everything was up to date so that way it could perform optimally for creating. Then after that, I proceeded to download all my music production software and all my video editing software and I was good to go. Again, this was a breeze because this laptop comes stock with two terabytes of internal SSD storage. And if you think about it, compared to other competitors devices, just for you to get a two terabyte SSD costs about $400 for an upgrade, which is absolutely ridiculous. For that amount of money, you could just spend it on this and get way more performance for the money that you're spending. Once I downloaded everything I needed, I then proceeded to start creating and really test out what this laptop could do. But as I was downloading everything to my computer, I noticed something that was the tiniest bit concerning to me. Whenever downloading or installing plugins or softwares, I noticed that the fan started kicking in really hot and I was concerned because if I were to use this within a recording session and the artist was with me in the same room, I didn't want any external fan noise to come out of the laptop. So naturally I reached out to the CEO and mentioned this to him about the fans going off and what he told me was when you're first installing your softwares and your plugins that naturally the computer is going to be using more power causing the fans to go off but he assured me that after everything is downloaded up and ready to go that the fans
fans will not be an issue. And he was absolutely correct. So after I downloaded everything, I then proceeded to run a recording session here in this room with the artist right next to me. And the fans did not go off once, which was absolutely great for me because whenever I'm recording, the fans did not come out within my session, which is a big deal for me. So that's another plus for the laptop. And as far as the performance for music production, it was absolutely incredible. I was genuinely shocked. So as a side note, I have a PC tower that I use for music production and video editing. And while I was recording, this laptop ran as smooth and as seamlessly as my main rig that I spent about like $4,000 on. So I was genuinely impressed. This handled anything that I threw to it. I was able to open up as many plugins as I needed. I was able to run as many sessions as I could without not one crash or not one error. So again, big props to this laptop. I was genuinely amazed. I was tripping. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. It's a great laptop. One thing I will note when you're making music is if you open up a lot of VSTs or if you use a lot of high intensive CPU plugins, then you will notice the fans to kick in a little bit but it's not anything drastic that will completely throw off your session at all, nor will you catch that in the recording. So if you're producing music as a music producer, the fans shouldn't even matter because the music's gonna drown out the fans anyways. It's more critical, especially if you're recording within the same room as an artist, you absolutely do not want any fan noise. But again, whenever you're recording, you don't even wanna use high CPU intensive plugins. And I wasn't, and even if I did use like one or two, it didn't cause the fans to kick off. So that was again, another plus for the laptop. The next thing that was a huge concern for me was how well this laptop can handle video editing software. Because music production and engineering is one thing, but content creation and video production is an entirely different beast when it comes to the amount of power you need to get work done efficiently. And this is something that I highly encourage all music creatives to get into nowadays because that is how you will get your music and your art discovered by accompanying your music with video. So in order to create video as seamlessly as possible, you need a machine that will absolutely be able to run a video editing software with absolutely no hiccups. And if you don't have a machine that can handle the work that you throw at it, then it will take you 10 times longer just to get any work done. And this was another one of the huge issues that I was having. Before I got this laptop, I would edit all of my short form videos in 4K on my old 2016 MacBook Pro. And let me tell you, it was absolutely dreadful. I like to shoot my footage in 4K and downscale it to 1080p. So that way, whenever I upload it to all my socials, it is the absolute highest quality that I can get for my videos. But when I was using the Mac, I was running into the issue of it not being able to process all all that 4k footage not only that but when it came to motion graphics and text-based editing it could not handle that as well which was limiting my ideas and my creative growth and to top it all off since i was using a weaker laptop it took me 20 minutes to render out a 40 second video so just think about that all that time wasted just rendering out a simple 40 second video operating in my timeline was such a pain because every time i would press play i would not get smooth playback everything was stuttering and dropping frames which made the video editing process such a drag. This cut my productivity down tremendously because at that point I was only able to edit one 40 second video a day, completely limiting my creative ideas. Luckily, I got this computer just in time because my laptop had completely given up and didn't even want to render any videos anymore. So when I transitioned into this laptop, let me tell you guys, the difference was absolutely night and day. I went from being able to edit only one video a day to four to six videos a day, which felt like a huge weight being lifted off of my shoulders. I was no longer bottlenecked by a slow machine and the only thing that I had to worry about was coming up with more video ideas to keep creating. And that's a good problem to have. With two graphics cards, the Intel Iris Xe and the Nvidia RTX 3060, I absolutely get the smoothest performance when it comes to editing videos. I absolutely do not notice one lag or one stutter whenever I'm editing in 4K that allows me to create seamlessly. And whenever I'm finished with my video and start rendering, it only takes a few minutes for the render to finish, which again allows me to get so much work done. Another cool thing about creative devices is that they don't plaster their logo all over the laptop like other Dell, HP, or Apple laptops. So you could get a logoless blank cover design. But if you wanted some customization, creative devices also gives you the option to put your name or logo on the laptop. You could get the logo on your laptop laser etched, laser printed, or UV printed. As you can see, I got my laptop with my logo laser etched. But if you wanted to check out some other examples of what the other styles look like, then you can always check out the creative device 
guys' socials to see how they did other people's custom logos. Not only that, but you could also throw your name or logo on your laptop sleeve or mouse pad at an incredibly low price, which currently no other companies are doing. So overall, I highly, highly, highly recommend this laptop for creatives who are looking to get into the music production or video editing space without completely breaking the bank. Seriously guys, this is a really affordable product. You do not need to go for the higher end laptops or PCs. Realistically speaking, if you want to just get into it, this is all that you will need. But again, if you're a little bit more of a seasoned veteran with music production and video editing like I am, again, this compares great to my actual PC tower that I have that I spent $4,000 on. And you do not need to spend four thousand dollars to get this you can get this for a fraction of the price so again i highly highly recommend it so far i've been able to edit every single video and i am also currently editing this video on this laptop yes sir so it performs great if you guys want additional info on this laptop or want to purchase one for yourself then you can head over to the creative devices website link down below to get yourself one today just make sure that you purchase it from the official creative devices website because the CEO had mentioned to me that there were a few scammers online trying to mark this product as theirs. So do not fall for the scam. If you want to purchase one, make sure you actually go to the Creative Devices website to get yours. And if you guys have any specific questions about my experience with this laptop, then you can leave them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer all of your questions so you can catch me down there. Lastly, I just want to say a huge shout out to the people and the team at Creative Devices. You guys absolutely killed it with this laptop. I think what you guys did was absolutely genius. Again, and it's all the specs that you need for the most affordable price that you can get. It allows creators like me to create as effortlessly as possible. I am now a new person, so if you start seeing more content and more videos, then you will know the reason why. If you guys want to learn more about music production, don't forget to check out this video linked right here. But until then, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.